I'm Derek Kostetler, Product Test Engineer at Trelleborg Ceiling Solutions. Today I'm going to demonstrate the proper way to replace a PTFE manway lid gasket. Following the proper procedure is important because it can help prevent damage to the gasket and avoid the possibility of a non-accident release. To replace the lid gasket, you'll need a new gasket, a brass or plastic pry, a clean cloth, a calibrated torque wrench, and anti-seize compound. I'll be using JetLube 550, but you should be sure to check the gasket manufacturer's specifications for the correct lubricant for your application. You also need to know the appropriate torque sequence based on the manway's bolt pattern. As you can see, our manway has eight bolts, which are numbered to show the torque sequence. This is the pattern we will use when we loosen the swing bolts to open the manway, and again when we torque the bolts after closing the manway. You'll also need the recommended torque value based on the manway equipment and the gasket material. For this slid gasket, my target torque is 250 foot-pounds. You can find Trelleborg's torque recommendation sheet on the chemical transportation seals shop. Okay, let's get started. Be sure to release all pressure from inside the lid before loosening the bolts. Once the pressure is released, you'll loosen each bolt according to the torquing pattern to evenly remove the torque load. Start with bolt number one and finish with bolt number eight, lowering each bolt on its hinge out of the way of the manway cover. Now you can lift the manway lid. Before removing the gasket, inspect it for damage. If you do notice any damage, it may be useful to have the gasket analyzed by an expert who can determine the cause of the problem and develop a solution to prevent possible failures and non-accident releases. Root cause analysis is a service we provide through the TransSecure Fluid Sealing Management Program. Now you're ready to remove the gasket. You'll do this by inserting the pry bar around one edge of the gasket and working it all the way around until the gasket is fully released from the lid. Using a clean cloth, remove all residue from the surface of the manway lid and the nozzle. Be sure to inspect the lid and nozzle for any nicks, cracks, warping, and any other kind of defect that could become potential leak paths. AAR guidelines require that all nicks and gouges deeper than 1 32nd of an inch be repaired. If you can feel the gauge, the gouge with your finger, it is a potential leak path and it needs to be repaired. Following the same AAR guidelines, you should inspect bolts, washers, and nuts for any damage and perform any necessary repairs. Also be sure to inspect the new gasket for any defects prior to installing it. Now you're ready to install the new ga lid gasket. Using your fingers, press the manway gasket into the lid. Do this all the way around the gasket you will feel the gasket snap into place as you press it into the groove. Now, visually inspect the gasket to be sure it's fully inserted all the way around the lid. If everything looks good, you can close the lid and be sure to lower it carefully to avoid damaging the manway. Now using the brush container, apply anti-seize compound to all the fastening surfaces, including the nuts, washers, bolts, and manway bolt holes. With all surfaces are lubricated, we can reinsert and finger tighten the bolts. This can be done in any order, but be sure that the washers are in place between the top of the manway and the cover of the nut. The final step is to torque the bolts to ensure the manway is properly sealed. Be sure to follow the recommendations provided by the tank car and gasket manufacturers. If those recommendations differ, follow the recommendations of the tank car manufacturer. The guidelines I'm following are for equipment that uses AAR-1, TRN-1 and UTC-1 manway styles and 1 inch ASTM A-307 grade A bolts. If your equipment uses any other bolt type, be sure the torque does not exceed 60% of the bolt yield strength. You can find that yield on the bolt supplier's specification sheet. Regardless of the bolt style used by your equipment, the torquing pattern remains the same and will be accomplished in four passes. Again, the torque percentages I will demonstrate here are for the AAR-1, TRN-1, and UTC-1 manway styles. For those manway styles, 
set the target torque on the torque bar to 30% and then follow the recommended torque pattern to torque the bolts beginning with bolt one, one then bolt two, bolt three, etc. until all eight bolts are tightened to 30% of the target torque. Now I'll reset the torque bar to 60% for the second pass and start over again at bolt number one, torque the bolts in sequential order. For the third pass, set the torque bar to 100% of the target torque. Again, beginning with bolt number one, torque each bolt in sequence to 100% of the target torque. During the fourth and final pass, you will again torque to 100% of the target torque. That's how you replace a manway lid gasket. If you have a different bolt configuration, you use different lubrication, or you have a different bolt size, be sure to contact the Trelleborg engineering team for the proper procedures for your equipment.